Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a really smooth and realistic flashlight in Roblox Studio. Uh, it's really easy. It doesn't take that much code to do it, you know. Let's just get started. So I have a brand new base plate loaded up in here with nothing in it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take everything out of the lighting. Uh, just so I can kind of add my own thing into the lighting. I'm going to... I'm going to change the time to zero. I think flashlights work best at night time. I'm going to change the brightness down to one. I think uh, maybe make the ambient a little darker. That doesn't really do too much. And then I'm going to change technology. Make sure you change the technology from shadow map to future or if you have it anything else. It looks the best in future because it's just the most realistic lighting there is. It just makes the lighting look really nice and realistic next thing i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna add maybe a color correction put the contrast at point one and then add maybe a depth of field in focus radi in focus radius make it about eight and i think that's pretty good actually i'm gonna add a sky as well and then that's it i'm done with my lighting i think you could make this at any time of day, but it, I think it would work best at night time, just because, you know, that's kind of how, you know, you probably need flashlights in dark areas, and then, so now we're going to make the actual flashlight, so first thing what we're going to do is we're going to insert a part, make the size 0 0.1, comma, 0 0.1, comma, 0 0.1, enter, and then so now it's this really small little cube. We're going to go down and change the properties. We're going to turn off can collide, turn off can query, turn off can touch, and then make sure that it is anchored. And then uh, I'm going to rename this part to flashlight. And then I'm going to click the plus up here next to it, and I'm going to add a spotlight. This is the actual thing that's going to, you know, like be the actual flashlight. So I'm going to turn on shadows so it looks better. Uh, I like to my, have my angle at 50. And the range at about 30. I think that works pretty well. And then we're going to take this whole flashlight thing. And we're just going to pop it in replicated storage. And then we can actually get the scripting. So we're going to put the our a local script inside of starter character scripts. Inside the starter player. And then I'm going to change the script name to flashlight script. And then we can get started with scripting. Okay, so first thing we're going to need to do here is make a few variables. So we're going to go local camera equals workspace dot current camera. Then we're going to need to get the replicated storage. I'm just going to put RS. I have to abbreviate uh, everything like that. Game dot replicated storage. Then we're going to get the flashlight uh, equals RS dot flashlight. Then we're going to need to get the run service because I've already abbreviated RS as replicated storage, which I like to do that in most games. Then we're just going to call the run service, run service, and then game pull and get service, run service. And we also need to get a clone. So local clone equals just a clone of the flashlight, which is actually what's going to be used for a player. So it can be used for like multiple players. Clone.parent equals script.parent. So it's in the player's character. Then we're going to need to get the player's mouse, which is pretty easy. Local mouse equals game dot player not parent game dot players dot local player colon get mouse which just makes it so that you can get the mouse kind of in the name then we're going to get the tween service local ts equals game colon get service tween service and let's get tween info while we're at it tween info dot new and then we're going to make this point one so it doesn't take long to you know show up and then we're gonna do enum.easingstyle.sign, which is a really good, one of the best easing styles. Uh, you can change that if you want to. You can change the time if you want to. It, it's really up to you. But then we're gonna go run service dot render step, go and connect into a function. And then now we're gonna check if the clone is there. So if clone then, then the clone dot position equals the camera dot c frame dot position and then we're gonna go t tween service colon create and then we're gonna tween the clone get our tween info in there and then property c frame equals c frame dot look at clone 
dot position comma mouse dot hit dot position this is just getting the clone to look at like wherever the mouse is and then at the end of this we're gonna have to play it so let's test that out and see what that looks like okay so i'm in the game and it takes a second to load in all the lighting but this is what the flashlight looks like it's really clean and stuff and yeah, it's really nice, but the thing about this is that it doesn't toggle. So let's code it so that it can toggle on and off. Okay, so we need to get a few more variables uh, if we want to make it toggle. So we're going to need user input service and then game uh, colon get service user input service. And I'm just going to put UIS to abbreviate that. And then we need another variable, which is toggle with false. So this just says if it toggles. And then dot here we can change this to if toggle then and then add another end to it. So that's just checking that if it's toggled, then it will do that. And hold on, I'm sorry, uh, I forgot something. We need to tween the brightness as well. So local brightness equals uh, one. That's what my brightness is. So then we need to go down here and tween the brightness because that's something we need to do down here so put it in the if toggle then uh then we're gonna go clone dot spotlight uh tween info and then brightness brightness equals brightness so it just makes the brightness equal our variable brightness and then but what if it isn't toggled then we're gonna put else and then we're gonna make a tween so that it kind of shuts off so clone dot spotlight and then tween info and then brightness equals zero so that makes sure that if it's not toggled then the brightness is gonna equal zero basically the light and the flashlight turns off now i need to make it, the toggle actually change so we're gonna go user input service dot input began colon connect with a function and then we actually do need a couple parameters here we need uh, input and then P for process so uh, if the game isn't processed that or like if like the players chatting so if P then return end and then now we can get to scripting so we need if input dot key code equals enum dot key code dot F and then or equals equals then and you can also make a variable for this let's actually do that so uh let's just go up here and then we can do local evind equals enum.keycode.f and then it makes it equal to evind so that's a variable and then we want the toggle to equal to not toggle so it just changes uh, every time f is pressed so let's test that out Okay, so it's not working, and I know why. You have to go colon play, and then colon play for all the tweens. So now it will actually work. Okay, so as you can see, uh, as you, I press F, it toggles out, and it toggles on again. And that is how you can get an awesome flashlight like this that's smooth and realistic. Uh, to make it realistic, it's really just like the lighting changes, but once you kind of like... You, there's a few good ways to change that to make it really realistic which is nice and uh, now we have this really nice flashlight that toggles on and off super smoothly yeah if this was helpful to you at all make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video maybe uh, you know come back to the channel for a few videos or something sometime uh, but that's really it for today see ya